Hey guys, Bob here. Like nachos? Really? Do you like nachos? Okay. So today I'm going to show you two different versions of the nachos we make here in the house. One is a standard version nacho. I found this stuff. It's called Pace Taco Complete in a can. So we're going to give this a whirl with the first set of nachos. Second set of nachos I will make for you guys is barbecue pulled pork nachos. Um, a little different than your average nachos. Uh, we don't use these on the barbecue nachos. We use these, which are the thick cut uh, dead chips. So come on, we'll get started. I'll show you both how to make both of these. All right, guys, we're going to start using this first. Um, this is a paste taco uh, complete. So what we're going to do is heat this up first, tell you what it tastes like, kind of looks like chili, but we'll see what it tastes like once it heats up. So basically what this tastes like guys, is like a, a um, Kind of like a chili with no beans, but it has a little bigger pieces of meat in it. So, we're going to heat this up, and then I'll show you how to put the first set of nachos together. Alright guys, what I use is these. This here is, I don't know if I can get this in here. This is Velveeta cheese sauce. Um, it has jalapeno in it, so basically it's nacho sauce to me. So what we're going to do is, this is just the Tostito scoops. So we're going to put the meat on, we're going to put the Velveeta cheese on it, then we're going to top it off with salsa and sour cream, and I stress this, we do not use guacamole in this house. Alright guys, it's nacho time. This stuff here is the paste complete that's in the can. It looks like it has maybe some black beans in it. It looks like it has some corn in it. So that's that. Let's go and add our cheese. Sorry guys, I'm bouncing the camera, I apologize. All right, let's add our salsa. Okay guys, my bad. I thought we had salsa. We don't. Happens. So all we're gonna do now is add a little bit of sour cream to the center and maybe a couple, cowboy candy, maybe. And there you go. That is the first set of nachos of how we do them here at Bob's Restaurant. Kidding. Bob's House. So, anyways, th this is the first one. And now I'll show you how to build the second one. Okay, round two of the nachos. This here, guys, is cold pulled pork. Uh, we had a roast a while back. Um, again, I don't throw anything away. So what I did is I shredded it all, put it in the Ziploc, froze it, um, took it out of the fridge, put it in a bowl, let it defrost, and that's what we have. So I'm going to now show you how we make the other set of uh, pulled pork nachos, barbecue pulled pork nachos, but not so much with the tortilla scoopy thingies, okay? I found, I found an interesting way to do it, so I'll show you step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is melt a little butter, butter in this cast iron frying pan so it doesn't stick. And no, I'm not using all the pork. I mean, there's only me. There's no sense of doing that. But that there is probably good, about a pound and a half of shredded pork. So 
If you're making a big batch of these guys, buy, feel free by all means use all the pork. Alright guys, this is heated up through. So now we're going to just add the magic little barbecue sauce. I'm using Everyday Honey Barbecue Sauce by Bullseye. You can use whatever favorite brands you want to use. We're going to let that cook down a little bit, guys. Alright, guys. As I told you, this is going to be a little weird. Anyway, what I'm using... These are the kettle chips. You can get them pretty much anywhere. They make them anywhere. Okay, here we go. What we're using is kettle chips. Probably you can get them almost anywhere in your area. If not, you can use thick sliced chips. First thing I'm going to do is add our barbecue pork to the top of these. Next thing we're doing is adding our cheese. And like I said, this is going to be weird. Onions. Some cowboy candy chopped up over the top. And like I said, guys, whatever you want to put on here. Some sour cream in the middle. And here comes the weird part, kids. Shaped chocolate. Don't ask you why this works, it just does. So I'm just grating some chocolate over the top of this. And that's it. That is my weird one of nachos. So if you're new here, subscribe, hit the notification button, hit the like button, leave a comment. Let me know how you feel about these puppies. And we'll see you in the next cooking vlog, guys. Have a great day. So what do you think of the nachos, buddy? See you guys? Even Buddy likes nachos.